this is Willard again here coming to you live from the New York power couple hello 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 the purpose of this video is to jumpstart your morning and I have chosen to share with you the works of Ayanla Vanzant from her great book acts of faith a daily meditation guide and uh, we are at day 39 people 39 straight days this is going to go on for 365 days and uh, yeah i want to pump you up every single day so that you start your day on the right access the right start and um have an awesome day make it an awesome day and all of that so today's reading uh, again, this portion is, by the way, this book is broken up in, I think, into four or three portions. So right now we're dealing with self. And it says, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is a quote from the late famous civil rights um, activist, Fannie Lou Hamer. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Many of us believe that unless we are struggling, we are not doing it right. We struggle with thoughts, feelings, even other people. We struggle with money problems, family problems, personal problems. Many of us have said, I'm tired of struggling. Well, guess what? When you make a decision, when you make a decision to stop struggling, you will stop. When you stop struggling, things get better. Struggle goes against the flow. It creates exhaustion in the mind and body. When you are exhausted, you get sick. If you are sick, you must take you must make a decision and a commitment to do everything in your power to get better. The power is in the commitment, never to do what it makes you sick. Let me read that again. The power is in the commitment, never to do what makes you sick. The key is the decision never to tire of doing what is best, good, and right for you. I give no, I give no thing power over me. Ah, wow. These last two sentences. Let me read it again. The power is in the commitment never to do what makes you sick. The key is the decision never to tire of doing what is best, good, and right for you. These are two sentences that work almost at opposite ends of the spectrum. And my goodness, have I experienced people doing exactly the same. You know, we're engaged in activities that make us tired and sick. And we're constantly blaming other things, people, and entities for these things. God knows I used to be there. I'm not, I'm not uh, 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 holding myself to be the uh, all, all ready-made individual. That comes from a process of, again, just being conditioned by a lot of dysfunctionality. I mean, I had it in my family um, to to, a, to an extent. It still exists. Um, but I'm a independent, married, happy, wonderful, go-getter individual. But that took a lot of work. I had to focus all of my energies on me to get to where I am. And, um, you know, hey, uh, good morning, good morning. It's work. It's hard work. But it's honest work. Okay? It's your work. It's your life. And um, the only thing, the only time things will turn around in your life is when you make a decision to turn it around. Uh, it's not good morning. It's It's not, it's not... You know, it's not about that lotto thing. It's not about that, ooh, I found the right man or the right woman. Because the thing is, if you're looking for something, that means you're searching with a big void inside of you. And chances are, when you meet that situation or condition or person, what happens is they get in and come out. 
because nobody can occupy your void. You have to fill it with you. So stop struggling. Stop being tired. Be sick and tired of being tired and do something about it. All right? See y'all tomorrow. Um, I'll be doing my lunchtime chat probably a little later because I'm going to go on a class trip today. I don't know. It's raining out there. I don't know. That might be canceled. Who knows? But anyway, um, look out for the next video. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.